Thursday. What's going on, guys? Christopher and JR here, late midnight again. After midnight. After midnight. I'm what's, tired. What you carrying on you? Oh, I have a couple of knives here today, but what I actually was carrying today <clears throat> would be my. Benchmade 523 Tonto. I have my uh, made 32. 32. Bali song, Bali song, and my Super Deluxe Tinkerer. Yeah, but that doesn't count, because... It counts. You see, sometimes I don't carry it. I carry mine I try every carry day. It. I carry my Swiss Army knife. Well, today I was happy yeah, that I have it. it. You don't have it strapped to your backpack? No, you know, I, you know where I keep it? My back pocket. In your back pocket? Yeah, with this little... I have the lanyard kind of flipped out right there, so it kind of keeps it standing up. But I had it. Sherman614, he sent me a uh, lanyard, and I keep mine strapped to my... Uh, my 5.11 bag. If I have a jacket on, I keep it in my jacket pocket. Well, we live in Florida, so you know how, many, how often really you uh, wear a jacket. I'm carrying uh, my newfound Spyderco police that you've been Googling. I have been Googling that. I got it on a trade from a gentleman out of Texas, Jonathan. What's up, Jonathan? And uh, he got my Pacal. From our recent Facebook uh, trade post, that worked out pretty well, huh? Yep. I think we got a bunch of guys that want to trade and sell knives. You know what I like about this knife is that it's fully full serration, but there's a nice a little working tip on yeah, it. Yeah, you can. It's like a it's a good little knife you can actually use. Well, <laughs> you mean serrated knife that you can actually use? Well, yeah, exactly. Like you know. <coughs> you know another knife that's like that that has a good little tip on it is the um, tenacious is like that. The tenacious? I don't like the tenacious. No. Want to make some room for you? Yeah. Mm. I'll change this music. It's a little more manly. Some Johnny Cash. So I have my Bradley Kimura 5. And uh, I got that as a gift, Christmas gift from my uh, my people. The peeps. My peeps. That's pretty cool, huh? They bought me a knife. Actually, they got me a gift card to believe. A couple of e gift cards to Blade HQ, and they let me pick out my own knife, which I thought was really cool of them. Since they didn't have to do anything at all for me, but they did. So, very pleased with my Bradley Career 5. I actually, um, I PM'd Calvination and asked him what he thought of it before I pulled the pin and bought it. But I will say, while I like the knife and it's sharp because I cut myself 10 minutes after I took it out of the box, um, the pivot, let's see, which side is it? It's this one here. No, this one. Pivot was loose, and I tried adjusting it, and it didn't want to adjust at all. So I took it apart, and I found out that the pivot screw was stripped. So that's a little annoying because that means I gotta call Bradley and say, well, "Hey, first can you I had get to screw a... back out." Well, I was getting to that. Oh, <clears throat> so we tried lock tightening it; that didn't work. And then, just from flipping it, ouch! Just from flipping it, the screw there backed out. And so I was thinking about it, and I was noticing that this one had screws back out on it. Chris bought this one, 
And he had to pull all the screws out and lock tight them because he lost a screw on it that it backed out. And then this one here. Yeah. So this was $175. <coughs> this was 90 I think with shipping it cost me a hundred, something like that. And then this one is like what, two hundred and two and a quarter? The fifty-one, right? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. Like one eighty. They're about. They're not no much more than the thirty-two. All right. All right. So we'll call it one eighty. But here's the thing about it. Like, if I spend eighty-five bucks on a knife. Or I spent 180 bucks on a knife, or I spent 175 dollars on a knife. The last thing I should have to do when I get it in the mail, and I open the box, is lock, lock tight the screws, or risk losing hardware. Oh, check this out. Which we both did. Well, wait a minute. And if you look at my post that I posted the other day in the bottom left-hand corner here, the screw's missing because I was flipping it and it fell out. I have no idea where it went. When I lost the screw on my 32, I went back and looked at the photo I took that night. And you can see it's actually backed out. Like it's getting ready to come out. I right. think I lost it between that photo and when I got home that night. It was Thanksgiving night. So, I guess, do you guys have the same experience or are we just being crybabies? I don't know. Should you have to Loctite? Should you have to Loctite your stuff? Like, should you have to go through... Benchmade sends you a knife or Bradley sent... And Bradley... See, I've heard that Bra that Benchmade manufactures this knife for uh, Bradley, and I also heard that I think Kershaw, Kershaw makes that one, and Benchmade makes the the mayhem, the, the garden shears, the garden shears, <laughs> as you call them. Yes. Okay, so you've got Benchmade and Kershaw, two very reputable uh, knife makers. What do you want to call them? Knife makers. Yeah. Companies, yeah. knife companies. Let's call them knife companies. Why? Why would you have to lock tie it? Like, but yeah, why? Are they? Just, I mean, I like you know. That's cool. We get to pull our knives apart. We do it anyways. But well, I don't mind. But I didn't know that. But why? This is my this is my first ballet song, and I didn't know that, and I lost the screw. Somebody said, "Hey, make sure you lock tie." I was like, "Yeah, whatever." Well, I thought the same thing. I pulled out of the box. I'm playing with it. I'm like, "Well, when I see Chris this week." A day or so, then I'll lock tight the screws, and then I lost one. And then stupid, was having problems with the pivot. And actually, that's the whole reason why I got cut was because of the pivot. But that's all right, whatever. <clears throat> but um, the bottom line is, what do you guys think? Like, you think it's cool that you spend money on a knife, and then you have to go buy, you have to go back buying the manufacturing company, and maybe it's because they they think you're you're gonna adjust it to where you're. So I'm going to go through and tighten all the screws for them? Yeah, you're right, because the one I lost was down here. Well, Same while we're on the rant, while, while I'm on the rant, I sent my Benchmade CQC7 to Benchmade, and they warrantied the the, li the titanium liner, right? Because the liner lock had over-travel. That's awesome. Cool, awesome. They just replaced it. It was like a brand new knife. Brand, yeah, they replaced it. But when I got it back, the back spacer was cracked. So it was a hairline crack when I got it back from uh, from Benchmade, and I didn't think much about it when I saw it until I pulled it apart. <laughs> the back space just cracked, so now I got to call Benchmade, and I got to ask them to send me another back spacer. I don't. If I send them my knife, then it's three weeks out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm without a knife for three weeks. So I'd rather just say. Hey guys, send me a backspace. You know who's really good about it. that? Kershaw. I've had screws get stripped out and they just send me new screws. Spyderco's on that too. I don't know about Benchmade. I know that they'll replace blades on knives, but I don't know about sending you parts. We'll see. I'm going to complain. I'll tell you that. I mean, I'm happy that they sent, that they, you know, their warranty was definitely great. Fixed that titanium liner for me. It was smooth as hell when it came back, but I'm agitated that now the backspacer's got a hairline crack in it. And actually, it's not even a hairline crack because I pulled it apart to look at it, and it's actually two pieces cracked. Now. It's almost two pieces. There's a there's a nice gaping. Right. Um, slash in it, if you will. Nice gaping crack. It's a nice gaping laceration in my knife. <laughs> I know. It's aggravating when you, you get excited about <coughs> excited about a knife and then it's not 
operational. Well, right, because it's down. Now, this one, really, like, it's not right. I can use it, but, like, it's annoying, especially if I have to send it to Bradley or wherever to have them fix it and they won't send me the parts because then I'm down the knife. Now, I realize I have others, but still, like... I'd ask, me, ask you if you want me to sharpen that thing, but it's... Yeah. Scary, ridiculous sharp. <laughs> it's, it's scary. I'm sharp, no doubt about it. <clears throat> I like, but I like the knife. I love the uh, the spear point, blade shape. It's, it's heavy. It's heavy, yeah. It's much heavier than this. This is titanium. For Fifty one. Calvin Nation gave it a very good review. Anyways, say so we've uh, we survived the week. Gosh, man. My wife, they helped. My wife had surgery last week, and then on the tail end of getting better from the surgery, she caught the flu. I've been home. I've been out of work for nine days taking care of her and the kids, getting the kids to school, and she couldn't get out of bed. It was bad. And then I was sick on top of it. <coughs> Both of my kids have been sick. My wife's been sick. I hate when my wife is sick. Yeah, I'd rather, like, I would rather maybe be sick than my wife's Right, sick. because then, you know, I gotta do all the stuff my wife only does. And you're, <laughs> you realize, you're like, she really does all this stuff? Yeah. And I just sit on my butt and do nothing. <laughs> you wanna do some... Let's recap. Do a recap. Now, we didn't do a recap last week, for some reason. I don't know why. So, are you eyeing this enough that I'm gonna see something, uh... uh you I trade know. for it or what? I like that knife, but... It is. Jonathan did a really good job. He polished it. And uh, he did a really good job of polishing it. The Pokal, within hours of having the Pokal, he had already broke it down, broken it down and started polishing it. If Spyderco would let me post a link on their Facebook page... Oh, like, man. A, like a Knife Thursday link. You know, they're really good about posting our photos on their page. Well, what they do is they go... They go to the people who make submissions on our stuff, and they just grab their photos, and they credit their name, but they don't credit Knife Thursday. And then if I go in there and say, as seen on Knife Thursday, they delete it. Well, just because you're a spammer. Well, I spam them. I have to spam them. Only way to... They don't like playing. But if Benchmade, if you post a really good... If I take a link from Knife Thursday that somebody posts a really good mm -hmm. photo of a Benchmade... And post it on Benchmade's wall. They'll take it and share it because they want to they show liked, their. They liked one the other day and shared it. They want to show. Here's their the knives. thing about I don't get Spiderco. I like Spiderco knives, but they just don't. They emailed us and said, "Stop spamming us. We right. don't do that. We don't have one to do with knife third. Well, I guess well, they didn't, they didn't say, that. say that, but they might as well have said that. Yeah. Because the thing is, is you know, we want to just show off our people's submissions, and we thought. Yeah, we're not throwing like Benchmade submissions on. Yeah, we definitely wouldn't. Have, Spider would not do that. Wall. We're Kershaw doing... too. Kershaw and ZT are awesome. Mm. They'll they'll take a Night Thursday post and credit it. And night, this is from Night Thursday, and they'll say the person's name, and then well, they stop by and say hello to us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're awesome. So I don't know. It's hard for me to get excited about Spider Co knives right now. It's a badass knife. It is badass though. Isn't it? I, I always thought the police was way bigger than the Endura, <coughs> but it's a little bit bigger. I wish I brought my Endura to compare it. Oh, I don't... Hey, I have a um, old school Endura. Yeah, let's see it. Oh, it's way bigger. Yeah. Hold them both together. I don't know about being way bigger, but it's definitely bigger. It's bigger. See how this one really doesn't have much of a workable tip, plain edge tip, where this one does. That's like a entire knife on the end of that. I like this. I like the police a lot. I wish it didn't say police on it. Well, you know what I think. I think Jonathan's gonna be like, "What are you doing to my knife?" But what if we stonewash the scales and then? You were saying acid wash the blade. That'd be cool. That's a project, JR. 
Hey, speaking of projects, Southern Indiana Prepper sent us something sweet from YouTube. Let's see if I can get this in. Yeah, that's not going to fit. Yeah, you can see it. He sent us this gigantic KT uh, carbon fiber knife blade. blade. It's a blade. Sure. Southern Indiana Preppers, what's up? He put an edge on it. And he sent us this a while back. I just, we've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to. I've been sitting on my desk. But it's pretty funny. KT swag. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I wonder if he would send us some um, carbon fiber to make. Actually, you know scales. what I need? You know what I need? I need a pol I need a piece of carbon fiber that's finished for photographing knives on. But I probably need like a two by two piece. I'm thinking. Well, did you see the post he made of of his own carbon fiber? He made a submission of his own carbon fiber. I must have with a knife that. laying on it with scales that he made. <clears throat> it's nice. He made this. <coughs> yeah, so I need to. I'll, I'll, I guess I'll PM him. See what it will cost to get a piece. I need, like, a, what do you think? Two by two? Two feet by two feet? I don't know. That's probably too much. Maybe, like, one by one? To make, uh, what are you trying to make? I just want a backdrop to photograph some oh. knives on. Yeah. It's good. I have different backdrops, so that would be a good one to have. But I want a, you know, a polished finish, a finished piece of one by one. So, anyways. Want to do a recap? Let's do a recap. Alright, and we're back. <clears throat> my camera doesn't like to, uh, it's trying to t my camera's trying to tell you to be uh, shorter. So I'm just going to sync it back up to where I said, let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. Let's do a recap. Let's do it. Again. Okay. <laughs> Take 51. <laughs> Be careful. So, I picked a couple from last week and the week before. A couple? You picked a bunch. Let's go. Come on. No rambling. Kaya Mystery by Chester22. Stella doesn't like it when you ramble. Stella? She's like, let's go. No, not Stella. It was Sergeant Sonic. Oh, that's okay. She's like, come on, man. Enough. I don't really... With your rambling. <laughs> but she doesn't have to watch the videos. No, I'm just picking on you. These videos are really just for us to hang out anyway. Right. So, we got a blur. We got a leak. <clears throat> we got a tilt. And a... A ZT. Looks like a scavenger. And a 550 in this tree here. Who posted that? Well, my wife would not let me get away with that kind of Christmas tree. Yeah, mine that. Chester mine. 22. Mine would neither. Pick that one because it was festive. J.I. The Blur Limited by Exacto. You're becoming quite a Blur fan, huh? <clears throat> well, I never really was a fan of it until I saw that one. I think I may have to pull the pin and buy one. The carbon fiber. The limited, yeah, the carbon fiber. CPM 154. Yes, I messaged, I made a comment under the submission to Exacto, and he hasn't commented back, asking where he got it. I checked Blade HQ. They have them for about 107 and change. Dave has some at Razor Sharp Unlimited. <clears throat> Dave at Razor Sharp Unlimited. He does. I think they're like 100 bucks, 110 or something. They're competitive. And, you know, they'll hook you up. My Thursday discount. <laughs> it's like... Never mind. What's up, Dave? You might have to go buy a knife, huh? From Dave. I may just have to. Yes, I've been on a friction folder uh, kick. Poor Man's Bushcraft Knife by... Did you mention this was Exacto's submission? I did. Okay. I can't read that. Chaspers? Chaspiers? Uh, How many submissions have they made? Um. <clears throat> Anyways, while you're doing that, I've been on this friction folder kick, been doing researching friction folders and how to make friction folders. And Michael Morris is a knife maker out of Pennsylvania. File I think. knives. Yeah, he does file knives, but he does some really badass artistic work. With friction folders. Oh, this guy's well, making... all, all of his work is good. But... This guy's making some posts. 
I uh, I really like his friction folders, and I said that was going to be my next knife I buy. But here I am looking at the Blur, Blur Limited. Anyways. Yeah, but these are like these are like twenty dollars. <clears throat> no, they're not. This the peasant. That maybe, but what I'm looking at is not. No, no, no. But $20. these are like fifty bucks. I yeah. mean, I'm sorry. These are like twenty dollars. I understand. Oh, you're saying the Michael Morris knives? Michael like Morris knives, bucks. like a hundred, hundred fifty dollars. They're sweet though. They are so sweet. Yeah. Well, I like uh, Aaron's idea from Shutters and Triggers. The whole father son initials thing. Right. Me and my dad share the same initials, so I may do that. I don't know. We'll see. Did you see that he said he? Did you see his review of the Lion <coughs> Steel? Aaron's the what? Aaron's review of the Lion Steel that he just did. He said he bought no. it secondhand. I wonder if he bought it. I wonder if he bought it from Super C Richards. No, he did not. Okay. You sure? Yes. Did you ask? Mm-hmm. Well, Chuck said I talked to him the other day, and he said that because he won, they want just people who may not know. His wife carries yeah. it to work. That's awesome. Yeah. Yes. No. Yeah, that's the knife they won in the um, Tell Us Why the Woman in Your Life Deserves This Knife. September. Yep. I was just curious. I mean, nothing that matters. Just wondering. You should not be able to give away or sell a knife that you win for my Thursday. You should have sentimental. Although I know a couple of you have already done so. <laughs> that's fine. It's all right. I gave my dad one of those last year for Christmas. Badass. Yeah, it's cool. I he like never them. carries it because it's too big for his taste, but it's neat. They make how, a small one. Now. How big's the blade on the one you got? Him? Um, I'm like a three inch. Big. I'm at least a three inch blade kind of a guy. It's like. big. It's a, this is sufficient blade on that. It's a big folding knife. It's a. I would say. <laughs> like. It's not. It's probably about there. Yeah. That's cool. That guy had that queued up. Super C Richards. He's been making some killer fixed blades. Been working on it for a while. <coughs> Sorry, guys. I still got this cough. Um, he's been working with Damascus Steel. Do you want some of my water? I do not want any of your water. <laughs> Did your wife give you your man card back yet? Come on. <sighs> so he's made a couple of... <laughs> that doesn't help. Uh... Especially after last week, whatever. I'm not even gonna revisit that. All I know is you're missing your man card. Um, Damascus steel, I like it. And I actually talked to him the other day, and I think uh, I'm gonna have him make one for my dad. A Skinner. My dad's an avid hunter, so it'd be cool to have a Skinner knife. I'll we'll stab the shit out of myself. I'll cut yourself. <laughs> Super C Richards doing an excellent job there, buddy. Loving your uh, fixed blades. This is my brother, Red Dawn. Story of this knife is he had recently traded vehicles with his friend Aaron, and uh, they both had Honda Civics. And what's wanted, up, Aaron? They, <laughs> what's up, Aaron? They both had Honda Civics, and they wanted to trade, so they traded Civics and swapped motors around. And um, the the car that my brother now has, uh, Aaron purchased from my brother-in-law. The car's been sitting for a long time, and my brother finally ends up with this car and looks in the glove box and finds this knife. Aaron says he doesn't know where it came from. My brother-in-law doesn't know where it came from. The original owner just, you know, it's been it's traded hands three times, and the freaking knife is Maybe in the glove the box. the original owner's ghost dropped it off in the glove box for your brother to find. Can you believe that knife just kind of rode in the glove box and nobody ever claimed it until it got to my brother? That's cool. It was meant for your brother. Do you think Aaron wants to come hang out at our knife hangout with us? I think he wants to come and hang out. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a crush on you. He needs to keep it to himself. Fire. This is the Lionhearted 86. I thought this was a cool picture. It looks like it's like in some disaster. But uh, it's just a photo in the background, obviously. Leatherman and 550. It looks like it'd actually be a pretty decent ad, doesn't it? Okay. With the crazy. Sure. No? Okay. You don't like the photography, Jerry? It's wonderful. You're way too critical of other people's photography. It's wonderful. BHB does some good work. First collection update ever. BHP finally got his dad a nice knife. I saw that. 350. Very cool. It yep. was a very heartwarming story. Yeah, let's pull it up. It's probably mm. one of us picked it. He was trying 
during the whole time of the uh, give a knife get a knife giveaway to get his dad a nice knife because his dad has always bought him really nice knives and he wasn't able to until recently and he gave it to his dad for his retirement <coughs> his dad was a sheriff he got a uh, Stonewash 350 So I take some nice photos. Congratulations, bud. And his dad he said his dad was holding the knife, playing with it all night. It's cool. So Jack Dynamite, first collection update. Yes, it is something when you lay out all of your knives together and look at them after you've been collecting for a while. It's got good taste for sure. He's a nothing fancy fan though. I like Ben Fancy. I think he's a. I like him. One of us has to like him. Night Thursday is going to go right through the tubes if one of us doesn't at least praise the sure. knife gods. Aaron probably likes Nothing Fancy too. I like him. I like his videos. He got me into knives. Cool. <laughs> oh! Why is that up there? Sorry guys, I still have this cough, I can't get rid of it. Koi cool. Knife Works. Koi Knife Works. Adam Ritchie. You guys have not ordered a custom Koi Knife Works, you're missing the boat. Oh, that's right, I pulled this up because you were going to say that you saw your... Look at that. <clears throat> acid, he like acid etched no, it, stone washed. No, he blew it. He gum, gum blew it. He shows the whole process he here. he antiqued it. Well, it's not the whole process, no, but... Somewhat. Work in progress, he calls it. Well, the knife in the background belongs to one of my peers. She's having it made for her boyfriend. Go back up, or go back down. That's the knife. And then scroll down. Oh, hey, look at that. See the template for the, for the star? For the um, for this. logo, yeah. And there he's transferring the logo onto the scales. Pretty cool. It's a badge. It's a logo. Oh, is it? It's the National Law oh, Enforcement that Officers this? Memorial okay. logo. Once again, doing sick work. I don't think he watches our YouTube videos, though. That's okay. Finals suck, but KT rocks. KT does rock. We, me, you, and I had a really crappy week. Knife Thursday for the win. Sent out a, we sent out a special special request to help cheer us up, and everyone came through. We had like 70 something <clears> submissions. We're not even giving anything away. It's been a long week of sickness in my house. Same here. Surgeries and the flu. And no surgeries for me. <clears throat> yeah, it was bad. Shuffling kids around, that was... It's actually cool, though. I got to spend some quality time with my girls. I don't normally get to spend. Watching them walk off with their backpacks behind the fenced compound of their school. <laughs> I heard about that shooting today, and I just wanted to go right home sad, and hug my daughter. Sad. Sad, sad, sad. So, Kalashnikov, one, two, three, four, five. Sick Todd, Be Todd Beg Bodega. What do you think of that knife? Um, I like it. It's an awesome flipper. It's just a little, it was, it's a little bulky for me to carry in my pocket. When I went to Blade this last year, they had those there, and I just didn't even know what the hell they were. I, didn't, I don't know. I didn't know much about knives at the time. I was like, oh, what the hell's that? Didn't even look at them. Now they're like. The badass knife to have. I don't. I don't. I don't know if I'd say that. But they're, they're cool. They're cool, but for me, I got to be able to use it. And it was the yeah. one we had here was just for me. It was just too. Well, we had a field marshal. It was too thick. Oh, that's true. That's a little different. That's true. Excuse me. So I guess I shouldn't talk about that knife since I've never actually handled that knife. But I can imagine. The problem, a lot it was of that, so smooth. Though. The field marshal to me, a lot of it was just too big and chunky. So if it wasn't too big, was a little more right. sleek. It would have the same the same action as that knife, which was super smooth. Right. I could see myself getting excited about it. But then also, Flippin' Bean sent us his custom Todd bag, which is pretty impressive. So, look really looking forward to Blade. Check out some of this stuff. Yeah, Blade's gonna be a blast. <coughs> this was. Uh, was hey, that Southern Guns Bone Collector, and it looks like it's getting some use. Yeah, he's taking it outside and giving it some fresh air. He purchased one of my knives. I put up a for sale video 
uh, recently, which is still up. That knife. He purchased that knife, and um, I sent that to him. From your safe to his creek. And he's getting it out there and getting some fresh air with it. Beautiful knife. It's like it's natural habitat. A couple of weeks ago, JR made a comment that he was, was going to be. Last week, wasn't it? Yeah, he's going to be getting a Bradley Chimera 5. He mentioned that he did not like the Bradley Mayhem, which I like. And he said, Why am I going to spend like another. Hundred dollars for garden shears. I've got like he several said, of them in my shed. He said it looked. He said it looks like garden shears. And uh, Exacto took offense to it. Offense to that, and called you Seth Rogen. <laughs> well, it's not the first time. It's not the first time you've been called Seth Rogen. <clears throat> annoying. Have Seth Rogen is of, annoying. Have you become a bit of a Seth Rogen fan and watch all of his movies? I since, always like Seth Rogen. I don't. People, I don't find him annoying. I never realized I sounded like him. <laughs> You're actually. Flattered, right? Do I sound like Seth Rogen? We've been through this, like three videos. I don't think so. This is like the third video we've talked about it. I don't think so. You definitely look like him all day. You know, we're going to have to... We'll have to pull... (laughs) 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 I look nothing like Seth Rogen. Hopefully the camera doesn't die here again. (coughs) The only reason I chose this one, I'm going to be honest, was the Duck Hunt sticker. Paying homage to... I am a uh, Benchmade fan, but I'll tell you. 1980s Nintendo. Nintendo 64. Yep. <clears throat> I don't worry, got the sticker. I don't know, we could make one. If you want one. We should do it. It's pretty badass. It is. Sc- screw being original. We'll take other people's ideas. I'm tired. What time is it? Friction folders and Kershaw blurs <coughs> limited editions. That's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm talking about right now. Michael Morris. I'm gonna pull him up here. There's a video of him on YouTube. Do you see it? <coughs> There's actually three parts. To yeah, it. three parts. Mm-hmm. It's Sorry, him show- it's him showing himself make a knife from a file. Very cool video. <clears throat> and he was the first custom knife maker that I was really on my radar when I first started looking at knives. Hang on. You need to go Gallery. see right here, current models. Here's the files. And then if you scroll down to friction folders, click on photos and description. You know, my dad gave me a nice file knife. Skinner, I've got it. I'll bring it and show it to you next time. Oh, cool. I have something forthcoming regarding knife making. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to check that. We've already chatted about it. <coughs> Look at that. Total badassery. Can you see that? I'm sure you can. I love those file knives. How you can see it going all the way up here. What would you call that? The flat? And his and his friction folders, the tang, he made a bottle opener out of it. He's got good taste in watches <clears> too. <throat> that's total. Uh, <laughs> yes, the Casio G. That's, that's like an the, old that's school. The terrorist well, that's one. an old school. That's the terrorist bomber one. Roadside bomb watch. You're really gonna label it. That. When we first went in, well, we I didn't go in anywhere. When the United States first went into Iraq, they were just rounding people up with those watches on, because they said, yeah, you can set off a bomb with that. You're a terrorist. That's what I heard anyway. I wasn't there. So, that's a total, it's, it's a total man's knife because it's cool and you can open your beer with it. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's badass. So, you're going to try to make some knives like this? More to come. <laughs> right there, right? Yep. Look at that. I, I wish I would have known how affordable they were. I would have ordered one for my dad for Christmas. He's got some on hand. You probably could still. You think so? Yeah. These are the current models available. Look I, at I that. I like this. This is just... <coughs> the whole like, straight razor thing is like coming back there's in just style. No, there's just no, there's no point to it. There's no... 
There's no point. I know. There's no point to that knife. There's no point to that knife. <laughs> Why, yes, Raymond, it cuts things. Well, there's no, you know, you need to dig into something, you know, I guess, whatever. Get a different knife. Look at that. Yeah, I just call him. I like this one. That's like a whole, uh, farrier's file. That's exactly what it is. Is it? Look at you. One time I had uh, some friggin' snooty college kid say something to me. He was like, oh, something about, e he said something about equine. And I was like, what? He's like, equine, you know? I said, what? What? Equine? And I said, I can hear you. I don't know what that means. <laughs> And he looked at me like I was the biggest dumbass he'd ever seen. You got something against college kids? Yeah, they're snoot. They're snoods most of the time. Come on. This one was. I have two college degrees. And you're quite the snood. <laughs> Look at that. That's a small, isn't it? Man. <clears throat> That's my dad's style knife right there. Super tiny. Well, I'd say that you should probably be calling Michael Morris tomorrow morning. He's in the same time zone that we are. Where's he at? Located? Mm, Pennsylvania. Is that? Yeah. I think it's Pennsylvania. It's probably too late to get it for Christmas. I'm telling you, he's got he's got it on, he's got stuff on hand. Hey, did you see these with the button? <clears throat> yes, I thought that was pretty cool. I Do you was know thinking, what it's called? I was thinking um, torpedo or something like that. I was thinking that Minivade would think that was. Oh, uh, cool. There it is. All right. See? I know my Michael Morris knives. Look at you. <laughs> so this button he's got here holds it into the sheet. It's really <coughs> neat. It's a neck knife. Hmm. <laughs> he probably has no idea that Knife Thursday is going through his website for him. Probably. <laughs> He has no idea that Knife Thursday is going through his website. He has no idea what Knife Thursday is. Yeah, he's like, Knife Thursday? What the hell is that? That's the day I set up for Blade. <laughs> cool cool shop, huh? He's about to when he gets flooded with orders. Look at that. It is a cool shop. What the hell is that? I want a cool shop. That's a working gun? What do you think? I guess Shed? Shed? I think I should have a cool shop. I think you should have a cool shop. We can hang out there instead of my graphic <laughs> design office. My cool shop where we make knives. That would be way cooler. I want to I want to learn to make knives too, but I don't want to be jocking your style. Do what? I don't want to be jocking your style. If I start trying to make knives. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Jocking your style? Like, jocking my style? Like, I don't really? copy in you, you know? Who says that? Is that your thing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking, where the hell is your man card? Jock in your style? You never heard that? No. I have not. That's like your generation. Like hey, that. it looks like a Medford knife. <laughs> <laughs> looks like they're deployment models. Entry level. That thing is so badass. Look at that. <laughs> The entry level 5,000. <laughs> I'm going to start making look outtakes at the end of our videos. <laughs> the Watchman Jr. <clears throat> mm. Actually, go to the fixed blades. Well, he doesn't have it really like that. Scroll back up to the top. <clears throat> mm, go to current models. Nah, keep going. These ain't no sissy These knives. These ain't no sissy knives. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Go back up the top. Go all the way to the top. 
So click on that. <clears throat> oh, you like gotta click on the. Oh, it looks like they're too big to fail. Five thousand. <laughs> too big to break five thousand. <laughs> Classic eighty-five. God. Look at those prices too. Jeez. Way more affordable than I used to think they were. It's the way it should be. It's made in the USA, right there. Quality steel. Anyway, scroll down. My dad was pick my dad picked one out <clears throat> that he liked. That Look one. at that. One more, see one more. No, keep going. That one. Yeah. You may have to make it make my dad a knife like that one of these days. After like twenty years or worth of knife making experience. In your shop. <clears throat> Well, you can just buy them, buy the, uh, but you can't buy file knife blanks, huh? No. I can just buy one from Michael Morris. For Actually, cheaper than... Super C Richard's going to make me one, so. He's going to make you a file knife? No, he's going to make me a Damascus blade, I think. All right, enough of this rambling. Knife Thursday, it's been cool, it's been fun. Yep. And we will see you next week. All right, guys. Peace. Have a very merry, uh week leading up to Christmas. Talk to you guys soon. See ya.